widowed home, take the road that sets it to the sun. So communing started in 2006. Uh, me and Ben set up a little club night in um, a basement of a bar in West London called uh, Not Hill Arts Club. Um, we kind of wanted to provide an antidote to the uh, sort of corporate uh, promoting in the music scene that we saw happening in London. Uh, we wanted to kind of create a little community of musicians and there's a lot of sort of great um, songwriters and artists that we were working with at the time. We felt like they didn't really have a platform, so we uh, uh, we set up the night. So it took me to the star Is a comfort in the sirens way A comfort upon this wooden floor We then expanded to nine different cities uh, around the UK and we also went as far as Sydney uh, with the night because we found there's a lot of um, cohesion be between the Australian music scene and what we were experiencing in the UK. Uh, and the next natural step seemed to be moving out to the States and it's always been a dream of ours. Um, as big fans of a lot of American music it's hard to ignore the influence of American music on artists in the UK. So um, January came round uh, this year, 2011, um, and started in Brooklyn at a venue called the Public Assembly. Um, the night's been going fantastically. We've just taken a break for the summer, um, and we're now going to relaunch the event um, this autumn, or as the Americans say, the fall. We're also launching in San Francisco at the Café du Nord. Aside from the relaunch of the Brooklyn Night, um, we're going to be doing our first ever communion tour in America, which will um, encompass cities across the country uh, and features three acts that we're really excited about at the moment. One of the acts is Matthew and Atlas, who were supporting um, Mumford and Sons as we toured the States earlier this year. He was just totally blown away by by Matt's voice and his songs, um, so we invited him in, into the communion fold and uh, kind of helped put a band around him, put him in the studio, and uh, he's just been flying ever since. Hey, winter has gone, and the leaves weave through the forest. Another act is David Mayfield Parade, and the third one is Lauren Shearer from the West Coast, uh, who's um, songwriting has really impressed us and I think it will marry really, really well between all three acts and there's going to be a collaborative set every night so a seamless evening of music that uh, will hopefully introduce a lot of people in America to what we're about. So two years ago off the back of the club nights we set up uh, a record label um, as well as Matthew and the Atlas there's uh, Michael Kuanuka, who's supporting Adele in the US um, next month. Uh, Marcus Foster, who's just fantastic. Ben Howard, who's brilliant. Just so, so many artists. We've actually released 18 records now. And um, yeah, we, we, we can't believe how fortunate we are to do what we're doing. This year, we um, started our, uh, a festival called Bushstock in London. It was such a great success that we have um, taken this big leap to America um, as an opportunity to start a similar festival in the West Coast called Communion in the Redwoods. Um, it's going to be a three-day festival showcasing lots of different bands throughout the day and night in the most perfect setting in America. Um, and that's in October, the same time as the, the tour, so it's going to be a busy month for us. Good. 